What a beautiful day! And I'm looking for oysters. It's my lucky day! Look! Two nice sized oysters! <laughs> Happy Sunday, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special recipe. I'm going to be making a spicy Korean flavored seafood soup. Right here is the broth that I saved from my uh, spicy halibut soup. And here is the soup. Oh man, I've been dying for some of this. What you see the vegetable on top is the um, Tong Hong Choi. Right, let's pour this out properly in this big bowl. I'm glad I have one of these big bowls. See the daikon, some of the melon. See the big pieces of fish. That's the halibut. Oh man, it looks so good. Look at that. This is going to be my Saturday lunch. I'm going to enjoy this thoroughly. So that's going to add that flavor. It's got that spiciness and a seafood flavor in there. Sometimes it's a good idea to save, you know, the sauce or the broth, such as from a pho, and use that, reuse that as the base for the flavor. All right, so here we have some, um, this is called jit gua, some type of melon. It's not winter melon, but instead, I don't have daikon, so I'll be working with that. And I'll be adding an egg, and these are the four oysters I um, found at the beach. So first, let's start out by peeling this, so i show you guys what this melon is about. I love this peeler right here, man. It's so useful. And yes, I did reveal it. So, the flavor of this is uh, kind of like an earthy green flavor. It's not smooth or doesn't have a texture like daikon, but this will do. So, I'm gonna cut it into rectangles. Wedges. It's a little bit on the thick side, but I think that will do. And now I'm gonna chuck the uh, oysters. I don't have a chucker, so I'll be using a screwdriver. So one thing you gotta watch out is be, be careful with your hand. You don't want to do it like this, you know, and that's the wrong way of doing it because accidentally you might slip and you could stab itself. So this is the right way to chuck it. Look for the end of this oyster right here. Stick it in and just force the weight. See that? That wasn't hard at all. So I'll take some force because the mussels, I mean, <laughs> the oysters are pretty strong, you know? See, that's one right there. Now I'm going to do the, uh, wow, look how fresh that is. I'm going to do this big one right here. I'm going to look for the end of the. This one's kind of hard to find. So I'm gonna just work myself into it. Usually it's on the end is where's the opening that I'm looking for. And we wanna add some shrimp to it. Let's see if I can find a proper opening. That's just one of the covers. I'm gonna be super careful with this one. This is the uh, opening on the side. This is probably the back. All right, I was able to stab the uh, opening in here. Just have to work myself in there carefully, you know. Stuff and put it on a good fight. Oh yeah, 
is a big one. This is a huge one right here. I'm just going to use a spoon to dig it out. And I'll be cleaning out the rest. It's also a good idea to rinse out the oysters. There might be some contaminants. I'll just sand in there. Rinse it out real good. Alright. So first I'm going to add the broth. If it's not enough broth, you can always add more water. If it's too spicy, do the same too. Actually, I'm going to add some more water to it. Because I'm going to need some more broth to uh, make this soup. I don't like mine to be too spicy. As you can tell, there's a lot of red pepper and spicy ingredients in here. And I'm now I'm going to add the, uh, the cut up melon. Because that's going to take the longest to cook. And that might... We half hour of cooking because we want it to be soft. Now I'm just gonna add some olive oil. That's the best stuff right here. All right, we gonna cover it. Half hour should do. Then we are gonna turn it to medium after it boils. All right, let's see how that turned out. Oh my goodness, that looks about ready. Yep, that's soft right there. So this is called mokwa. So now I am going to add the shrimp. The reason why you add the shrimp and the oyster last is because those two cook easily. We don't want shrimp to be overdone, but if you want the flavor, if you're trying to create this broth, you of course would put it ahead of time, but keep in mind it's going to be all shriveled up and stuff. And in case you don't have this broth, you want to make it, what you want to add is jalapenos that you see right there. Um, and of course the seafood they add to it will add additional flavor. You want to put some crushed red peppers and even some um, chili powder to add that extra spiciness level. So we're going to let the shrimp cook for about like five minutes and then we're going to add the oyster and that should be pretty much it. Ooh, we that's got all the exciting spicy seafood flavors that I'm looking for. Now we're gonna add the final main ingredient, which is these awesome organic fresh oysters that I caught myself, chucked myself. And these will take a short time, just a couple of minutes, but make sure it's well done because I don't want you know to eat raw oysters, especially at a time like this. I don't want to get sick. Oh yeah, that looks done. That's gonna go perfect with some rice and kimchi. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. As always, eat hard, work out harder, and take care of yourselves.